Hello everyone and welcome to the Smite Art Show. We've got some news for you today before we jump into the artwork. So Gavin. Hey guys, I'm back, unfortunately. Uh, but you know how the art show is the art show with Anna and Gavin? Yeah. Well, no more. And I'm still here. But uh, we're, we're pretty much, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> sure. But uh, we're going to be introducing, uh, it's we're a, a title change, the art show with NN Friends. Anna will be our host, as she always has been. But as I'm getting more and more busy, we have introduced two more co-hosts. Uh, so me, uh, I'll be taking care of, uh, as a, a background as a painter, anytime we have a lot of uh, paintings, traditional or digital, I'll be coming in to uh, talk about that. And if uh, we have graphic stuff, like graphic design, anything that's like fancy Photoshop work, not necessarily painting or anything, we'll have David on. And if we need a particular amount of sass on the show, we will have David. And then finally, the next host will be... Uh, if you're familiar with the streamer Little Mama Sita, yeah, she is girl. our office uh, cosplay enthusiast, and every time we have have some cosplay, we will be bringing her in for that little bit of insight. Yes. So, uh, the art show with Anna and friends. Get hype. No, get hype. All right, guys, let's move into the artwork. Oh, sprinkles. Welcome to our favorites, everyone. Welcome to the favorites. All right, we're going to start off with this wonderful piece by Artyom Priyotko. This is gorgeous. It's such an excellent action shot of Medusa. And yeah, it's very, know. very comic book style, too. Yeah. Like, it's got all that dark, hard ink lines. Very cool stuff. And I love that it looks like Medusa just broke through her friggin' mask because she was so angry. Yeah. He's like, you're not gonna ult! Okay. I'll ult! Uh, all right, okay. Yeah, okay. sorry, I just broke everyone's Goodness. ears. I just love that she, this, uh, since Medusa has come out, there's been a rivalry that people have concocted between her the and Nuwa. snake Nuwa. goddesses? Yeah, yeah I love well, it. Technically, Nuwa is a dragon, but... Yeah, but, well, you know, reptiles. It's all reptilian. Okay. But uh, this piece is just amazing. Excellent job, Ardio. This next one is by Blanca White, and this is beautiful. It's so cool. I can't believe I never made the, this correlation before. Yeah, I know yeah. it works so well, right? Artemis like this would be like the perfect uh, companion for Link. This is great. Is it's awesome. a nice little game crossover. Yeah. Good job, Blanca. I adore this. This is by Carlos Garcia, and it's Summertime Aries. That is so good. It's so cute. Uh, I would love to see this actually become a cosplay for us. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't that be awesome? Instead of uh, fire coming out of a shield, it's sand. Yeah. <laughs> Spitting sand. It's like Summertime Aries. This is great, man. That I is would, really cute. I would really love to see somebody do this as, as a cosplay, because this is more doable than his actual armor. Oh, man. Excellent job. That would be wonderful. And speaking of Aries... Uh, here we have the full-on serious Aries by Danny Fernandez. It's his uh, the his Smite old World Championship uh, 2015 uh, skin. Yeah, looking like a beast. I think this is taken from his card. Am I right? Yeah, that's yeah. that's his card art. Yeah. Um, but beautifully done traditional piece as well, which is even more impressive considering the amount of detail that goes into this drawing. So, great job again. The sheen on the gold, so so awesome. Yep. Good job, Danny Fernandez. This next one is by Emily Barnes, and it's Ladies of Smite. Not all of them, but our few favorites. Yeah, but I mean, remember we got the uh, the Pixel Buster Freya we that did. she had done in for the past, and I think we also got the uh, Serket, maybe? No, I'm, I'm making that up. No, uh, but one. now all these pieces are put together. I love this. This is so cool. This is beautiful. She has such an interesting style for uh, for the ladies. I love with it. With their, their, like curviness and stuff and oh, uh, yeah their personality their personality and uh, the faces are, are great yeah uh, they, they have so much there's character there's in character in them um, and you have obviously uh, you have Bologna you have nurse Neef you have pixel buster Freya you have normal new or nurse crazy skin Nua. Um, and then you have steampunk uh, Bologna or not Bologna Sir Ken yes Sir Ken. so excellent job Emily we love this one this next one is by Jessica Franson, and it's just a nice, simple Apollo bust. And this is, I, I love the hair. You gave it that, yeah. like, it's, I mean, it's red hair, but it's got almost a golden sheen. It looks like sun fitting. sunlight, like hitting hitting some, like, wheat yeah. or something like that. It's really cool. <laughs> hitting wheat? <laughs> wheat. Wheat. <laughs> wheat. <laughs> um, I just love this because... I don't know if, if it's just me, but I've noticed that Apollo gets a lot of bust pictures, which is fine because he's probably one of he's got the some, best He's gods. got some strong busts for yeah, a dude, he's too. He's got a good face to draw. Yeah, it's very angular. Awesome. Yeah. So this piece is just beautifully done, and I love He a handsome dude. Oh, well, you know. He is. Yeah, he's very cute. So good job, Jessica. We love this one. 
Oh, oh, oh. oh I made you it. did it! You did it! You I'm won so the art so, show. You I'm won sorry. it all. I'm sorry, if Anya You are now. You. Me. You know how I said it was gonna be me, David, that. and and Yvonne hosting with you. Yeah. This person just gets to do it. Now. No, come on, come on. We're gonna fly you in. You officially win everything. This is by Jordan Ray Morrison, who has given us really cool stuff in the past, but this trumps. All of them. As you guys know, if you've been watching the show for the past month or so, this particular model of the uh, Manticore has made an appearance in several comics by either Gwendolyn or by other artists. Yep. And it's usually Sir Ket and the Manticore. But somebody, uh, this person, made a little Manticore plushie. Our darling Jordan actually went, yeah, and and made the plushie. And made it for real. And also 3D modeled it too. Yeah. Oh no, that's not. That's not. The, that's the in game. Dum dum. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> I forget. I'm sorry. I didn't even know he was in there. That's adorable. Yeah, this is great. So this is the the ward skin brought to life. Can you please? Absolutely wonderful. Please send that to us. I will pay you. I don't know why we haven't like started gems. marketing that and selling people this because yeah. I would buy it. God, that's amazing. Jordan, you you win everything. Let's give him a million gems. Can we do that, Gavin? Is that a possibility? No. Shut up. We're doing it. No. A million gems. For Go Jordan. to the next one. <laughs> This next one is my actually is my personal favorite. This is by jo Joey Patterson, and it's just beautiful. I'm pretty sure it's traditional piece um, because it's watercolor. But the composition of that watercolor and the background, I think the background. It reminds me of Calvin and Hobbes. Yeah. Like in style, but not not like with the with the with Bologna, not the actual background because that looks yeah. like traditional like war. I, like I just paintings. love it. I love it. In all its messiness and everything, you can still see that it's it's a war. It's a sky that depicts war. It's blood red. Oh yeah, it almost fire. looks like there's a, a mass of soldiers clashing against each other. Yeah. Like two different, and that's oh, awesome. That's beautiful. So cool. And Bologna is also very well drawn. I love that style that you used for it. And the smoke underneath. Roma and Victor! Beautiful. Good job, Joy Patterson. We love this one. This one's by Justin McClanahan. He actually peeped this one on uh, Twitter for us. Yeah. He actually it was the one. same day as yeah. the uh, God reveal for uh, Op Watch. Oh, no, no. It was like after patch notes, I think. Yeah, it was like yeah. right as it was done. It's amazing, dude, how fast That is uh, very it. impressive. Good job, you got man. You got down into it. Excellent use of negative space, too, and, and good use of color as well. Red would be a very good And I love that this is traditional. Yeah, good. Good job, Justin. This is awesome. Oh, I love this. Maria Luz Manrique gave us this cute little uh, coupling of Kronos and Thanatos. Of course, we love this. This is one of our favorite little little um, non-canon, yeah. if you will, couples. Oh, you couple. just wait. We'll do oh, it. Oh, yeah, no, we'll, it's happening. This is gonna, we're going to somehow get I this. I want a skin. I want a Kronos skin for Thanatos and a Thanatos skin for Kronos. Oh, yeah. That's, that's what I want in life. But uh, this is adorable. It's like Thanatos feeding him little treats, little little cupcakes and things. Very cute, Maria. We love this. This next one is by Mary Glum, and this was actually from the challenge that we gave you two weeks ago, which was Diva Gods. And this is appropriate because remember Very we uh, didn't get to do the art show because of the spring fling last week, so this is still the Diva. The Diva challenge was still good for this. Yeah. This so is here we are. They just don't make music like they used to. Oh, this is very Apollo is a diva, Apollo. like 100% diva all the time, for sure. Super fitting for Apollo. I think this is punk rock Apollo as well. No, it'll be like glam. Well, no, I mean, like, I think this is pop, punk rock Apollo, his skin, because he's wearing the eyes. Oh, like face, his, oh, yeah, and He's yeah. got the nails colored and everything. Oh, yeah. Um, but, yeah, very good job, Mary. This next one is by Moad Ahmed, Ahmed, and it's a... It's very deep and dark silver. Well, I mean, that is the um, that's the recolor card for yeah. for Scylla's um, recolor, it's and it uh, looks like it's done traditionally with a uh, is that colored pencil and yeah. and marker? No, no, I think it's is it just pencil. all colored pencil. Maybe marker for the for the hair. Okay. Just to get that solid black, but this mm -hmm. is gorgeous. I love this. Good. You job did a really good that. job with the the wolves. Yeah. Oh, buddy. And Ra. we released a new god, so of course Ra had to throw right. his hat in the ring. And we are so happy. And we're here. We have Medusa by, uh, oh, as depicted by Ra. Beautiful. I love this. I everywhere you look in this piece, there is a pleasant surprise. Like for one, when I first saw it, I didn't realize that she was halfway in the water, yeah. fighting people or turning people into stone. And that type of lens or that camera hitting the water. And that obvious division or, or divide yeah. of the water and, and everything. The light glare on yeah. the water. Oh, it's so good. It's gorgeous. 
gorgeous on the water drips and everything. Ma, you just never fail to just exceed our expectations with this artwork. It's so good. Mm -hmm. And that hand, though. <laughs> that hand. That hand. Good job, bro. As always. This one is by Ri Miao, and it's light held. Just being cute. This is a great Open. style. Like, this is a, like... Very, Very interesting. It's adorable. It's not chibi. It's cutesy Apparently. almost, but like. I mean, chibi constitutes not having a nose, right? Isn't that? I don't. I don't know enough about. I don't know. You look like a chibi. Jarring. What? Like worst person <sighs> ever. But uh, this is really cute. It's just very cute. It's very clean too. I do love that her. Uh, like usually the golden wolves on her thighs are cats in this. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Because like in the dark stance, they're like these very menacing looking uh, like leather thing, leather yeah. spiky things. But in her light stance, they're golden wolves. And it's oh, just like... It could be wolves. They're, just kinda they're like, meow. Meow. How's it going? Uh, very adorable. Good job, Rue. And this one is by a new artist. Thanacros. Wonky. Oh, Thanacros. Yeah. This is so amazing. Obviously, it's just Thanatos. I don't think it is Thanatos. No, it's, it's, Kronos. yeah, it's just standard ass Kronos looking like. You mean Thanatos. Okay, whatever, Anna. <laughs> Ugh, I never know what we're doing. We I never planned this either. out. Uh, but uh, this piece is just amazing, guys. I actually followed him on DeviantArt, Schwanky. He's amazing. His artwork is, is great. Schwanky, lady or girl, I, I forget. Either way, you're amazing. This is amazing. This is a really cool piece. There's My very goodness. little colors. Uh, you're kind of almost doing a gray-blue scale. There's very light glow around the face. But man, does it make you think think things about time. Yeah, for real. You're it's like, so handsome too. It's a yeah. very handsome drawing. But anyways, guys, that's it for us, and we're gonna we're gonna meet you in right in front of the camera now. Oh my god, let's go, Gavin. <laughs> Alright guys, that artwork was amazing. Always is. Thank you so much for all of your submissions. And remember, our challenge for next week, draw smite gods using only squares, okay? Alright, alright, let, let's oh. go. We're trying to get some work done. Alright, okay. Esports! Okay.